guys good morning um, today is Tuesday that was my laundry machine it was really loud today is Tuesday the 16th or 17th I can't remember um, yeah I wanted to show you guys well we just fun in a really big circle um, I just wanted to show you guys some things that I got from Walmart because I'm super excited about it I only got two things for myself but I really needed more sports bras because I just wear more sports bras than I do regular bras um, I just find it more comfortable and I don't really dress up to go out that often so I really only wear real bras if I'm like dressing up and trying to look nice you know otherwise I wear lounge clothes so I just prefer wearing a sports bra and also to work, I would like to wear sports bras because why wear a nice bra and sweat in that? You know what I mean? Like, um, and also the obvious that I work out in sports bras. So I just feel like I need a million sports bras. Like, I don't know when I'm gonna ever have enough. So I went and bought another one because I saw that they were having a sale and I got this bra on sale for $5, which you know I'm all about a sale, girl. This is the kind that I typically like to buy from Walmart. I just like the way that they fit. I don't like the padding in them because the padding ones that I've gotten before, when you wash them, the pads like get these creases in it and then it makes your boobs look weird like there's creases in your boobs and your nipples and they just never go back the same way so I don't buy those anymore I just like the plain good old sports bra with no padding it just holds your boobs down like a pancake some people don't like that but you know what I worked really hard to look thinner and almost like smushing my boobs down it makes me look smaller to have smaller boobs you know what I mean like with the big when I have my bra on like my real bra and my boobs look like humongous I almost feel like it makes me look fatter so I enjoy having flat boobs <laughs> but I'm sure small chested girls always want to make their boobs look bigger but I'm always trying to make mine look smaller um, yeah so this was five dollars on sale I'm really liking blue lately I love blue with my hair I don't know what that's about I never really go for blue like I used to never go for blue in the past but I love blue lately and then at the bottom it's like a dark gray band which I think is super cute and I got the size large and that is because my boobs are big so I have to get a large and this is the size Dan skin now and this is a medium comfort sport I mean a medium support sports bra and they're normally $7.84 so normally they're cheap anyways but it was five dollars so I was like yes girl and then I also got something super exciting I needed more like I need comfy shorts in general but I also need workout shorts because it is getting super hot I've been going on jogs lately um, I usually do power walking as you guys know but I actually recently started to actually jog like I used to do sprints a, you know a couple sprints which are really good for you but I could never jog like I can never run consistently for like 10 minutes because I just couldn't do it like I couldn't breathe and I don't know what it was but I just really couldn't run for a long periods of time but now I just ran I just jogged or ran or whatever for 15 minutes at a time without stopping and I was so proud of myself you guys because I haven't done that in like ever like ever I, I've always sucked at running it's always been really hard for me to breathe and for me to keep pushing on but I have been doing that lately just to kind of like change it up because you know you can only walk for so long and sometimes I just like to put some really fast loud music on and then do a little jog so I wanted to get shorts because since I've been outside a lot I've been getting tan on my arms and in my chest in my face I know it doesn't look like it now but that's just how white I was and my legs are white because all I have are leggings that I wear to work out so I'm out there in the Sun my upper body's getting tan and my lower body is staying white and even my husband had something to say about it my husband was like dang girl you need to get some color on your legs and I was like I know <laughs> and I'm out of self tanner but I thought it was a better investment to 
get some nice workout shorts. I've never had these kinds of shorts before, so this is a nice little reward to myself. I don't think I ever would have felt comfortable wearing these little itty bitty shorts before. Um, they're like those short shorts that the people, you know, the really fitnessy people work out in. They're really tight and they make your butt look really good. It's that like certain material that kind of like workout bathing suit material. Um, and they're super pretty and these are actually only nine dollars and 86 cents and that's from Walmart as well. It's by the brand Avia and I got the size large the medium fit me But the band around the waist was like too tight and it gave me like a muffin top because I have that like mommy stomach from having two kids the butt and the legs fit nicely but I just decided to go up to a large because I wanted to make sure that I was super comfortable and these are so comfortable and they're so pretty and they make my butt look really good and so on the side there there's just little um, black and white flowers and there's little reflective things on them just in case you run or walk at night and then there's a little pocket there as well and then there's a hidden pocket inside um, and I guess these are called the need for speed shorts yeah so yeah those are the two things that I got I was really excited about it because I just feel like I don't have enough exercise like workout clothes um, a lot of the stuff that I wear is just like old crappy t-shirts and like I have like two pairs of leggings that I work out in and that's it like nothing else fits me and I just wear like crappy old clothes but I think when you have cute workout clothes and stuff that makes you feel good and look good I think you're way more likely to actually work out like if you put some cute workout clothes on you know you're gonna be like let me put these to use I'm badass AF let me show you how it's done let's go you know we just get confidence that way but yeah I just wanted to show you guys what I got and I got my kids some shoes too might as well show you why not um, I got my daughter these little sh um, my daughter and my son they're basically the same shoe but obviously different sizes and one's for a girl one's for a boy these are like great for summer um, because she really does not like to wear flip-flops because they hurt her toes she said so these are like really easy to slip into and they're super comfortable so it's almost like between a sandal and a tennis shoe so you can run around in these um, but they're also just easy and uh, breathable for the summer because it's really hot. I got my son a pair of pretty much exactly the same thing, but in a smaller size. And these are a size 4. And, um, yep, same thing. They're just easy. They're just so easy. And they don't really get dirty because it's like a rubber sole. And it's easy to slip on for... Um, the summertime it's just a good play shoe it's good to run in but it's also breathable and you don't need socks and all that jazz and you can wear this to the beach too um, yeah it's just like a really great easy shoe and both of those were 788 so really affordable they just grow so fast we really don't spend too much money on their shoes like we don't get them expensive shoes because they grow out of them so fast like we buy shoes new shoes for every season literally that's it today i have work i already ate breakfast i was very hungry today so i had like two eggs and an egg white and then i had a bowl of cereal like a really really big bowl of checks um then what else did i do i took a shower i filmed the video so that was productive. I did some laundry and now I need to fold some laundry. Today is Saturday the 27th and this vlog is going to be all over the place because <laughs> I had filmed some 
filmed some stuff uh, I think like a week ago or something and I just hadn't done anything with it so I'm just gonna probably include it in this one we are on the way to Plato's closet I'm just taking some clothes and some shoes that I no longer use or that I barely wear and I'm going to sell them so that I can get new clothes and shoes because that is the cycle of a shopaholic's life so the thing about it is you know I don't have a lot of money to dedicate to my fashion wardrobe accessories whatever you want to call it um, and also I'm the type of person who likes to spend money on piercings and tattoos and things like that which are very whoa sorry this is a bumpy road which is you know quite expensive so um, when I want to get like new clothes and say I'm just like not in the position to be spending money on myself I will just take clothes that I'm like seriously girl you have not worn this in years why is it in your closet but it's a little easier now that I've lost weight there's a lot of things that I just can't wear anymore and then I have a couple of pairs of heels that I just don't wear like I just don't wear heels I, I keep them in my closet because I keep thinking you know there's gonna be a time where I'm gonna want to wear these um, I keep this one black pair of heels Turn right onto West Loop 1604 North. I keep this one black pair of heels they're just small little pumps and they have like a peep toe and a sling back and they're by Betsy I think it's like a Betsy Johnson brand but it's called Betsy Bill um, yeah I keep those for like special occasions you always need like a nice pair of shoe you don't know when something's gonna come up like a wedding or a graduation or whatever but um, as far as like I have these like wedges I have these uh, wedges from just fab and I've had them for so long and I keep thinking you know I'll wear them one day I'll wear them one day but they're like these dark brown wedge and then the straps are gray pleather and I don't know I just feel like they don't go with my style they don't match a lot of things and I just don't think I'm ever gonna wear them they are like brand new though like even though they're years old they might be like four years old uh, they're brand new. I've never worn them outside. I've literally tried them on in my closet a couple times contemplating if I was gonna wear them out and then I never did. So I'm gonna sell those and I just have some clothes that don't fit me anymore. I have a couple purses that I don't use anymore and then my hubby aka husband um, I just call him hubby a lot so we're gonna refer to my husband Mike we're gonna refer to him as hubby okay and hubby has some t-shirts that he's not gonna wear anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and sell that at Plato's closet now if you don't live in Texas um, I don't know where else they have Plato's closets all I know is that they have them in Texas uh, when I used to live in Massachusetts there was no way that you could sell your clothes that it just wasn't a thing you couldn't just like get money for your clothes I don't know why because I love how here you can just recycle and like I personally have no problem buying secondhand clothes um, because they only take them when they're in good condition they don't take them if they're stained or torn or dirty you know so I don't mind buying secondhand stuff uh, it's new to me so why not it's clean it is what it is like I literally have no problem with that and I think it's really nice it's a nice way of recycling you know uh, we don't need all these like clothes sitting in our closet that we're never gonna wear we can sell them and then people who can't go and buy uh, for instance American Eagle jeans at full price you know you can find like brand names in that store but for way less so you can have like good quality things for a cheaper price and I think that's really nice you know because not all of us are sitting on piles of money girl you know we, we gotta pinch our pennies so that is what I'm on my way to do I just dropped the kiddos off with their Grammy so that I could just do this alone in peace because uh, you do have to wait around for a while for them to decide how much they're gonna pay you for them and all that so it's just kind of stressful with the two of them because they just want to like run around the store and I just don't I just think it's rude to like let your kids just go buck wild <laughs> in a closed store like 
uh, maybe in a kid's store it's a little more acceptable but yes that is what I have planned I kind of want a coffee because I haven't eaten that much today I kind of like when I run errands and have like a busy day though because then I don't eat as much but when I'm at work and when I'm just sitting at home I just want to eat everything all the time and it's really really bad I need to stop doing that but where I work we have pastries and all this kinds of stuff that just makes you want to eat it you know in 2.2 miles turn left onto Bandera so yeah I'll probably just see how much I get from that and I may look around in their clothes racks just to see what they got going on I would like another pair of shorts um, and I do need another pair of work pants so I'm just gonna take a look around and see what's up and I will get back to you guys if I get anything from there I'll definitely show you and yeah man I don't know what to do because I just dropped the clothes off uh, in Plato's closet and they told me that my pickup time is gonna be 5 o'clock and it's 310 right now so I feel like that's a long time to just sit in my car and wait plus it's really hot and my air conditioning is on and it's just not even cold enough because that's how hot it is and it's kind of too short to just go somewhere um, I hate that when that happens like it's too short to go anywhere and too long to sit in your car like I mean like I kind of want to get a coffee but I do and I don't. I hate driving on this part of this street. This is a very long, busy street, and I hate being on this end of it. I just am not familiar with it, and it's very busy, and the intersections are crazy, and um, I just don't like getting over here. Like, I hate where this, <laughs> where this store is located. I just don't like this location, but we are on the same road as my work I don't think I've ever told you guys where I work I'm not gonna ever say it out loud I don't know why I'm just like paranoid but I work at a place that sells coffee and it is on this road I don't know where from this point so I'm gonna have to map quest it. I mean I have to Google Maps it but I might might have to go get a coffee since it is on same road can't be too bad right it can't be too bad uh, maybe that's what I'll do because I brought a banana because I hadn't eaten much so I ate my banana and I don't know I think I need a little sip sip um, by the way you guys I wanted to do another little haul and I just haven't done it I've just been so busy but here's a couple things that I got I went to the new um, forever 21 store here in San Antonio it's over in Ingram festival um, it's brand new and I really wanted to go there and see what was up so you'll see the clips at some point in this vlog but I got this like metallic iridescent headband I'm freaking in love with it like I don't even know who in the world would like want to just have a silver iridescent headband I don't know but when I was in the store it was like literally I just turned around and I was like like <laughs> I took a double take because I was like oh my god it's calling me it's calling me it's attracting me I don't I have no idea why I just need it and I want it in my life maybe because I have red hair I'm like experimenting with a lot of like funky little fashions you know um yeah so I got my tips from work and it was like a good amount of tips we had a good week so I decided to take forever 21 and treat myself to a, a couple of things so I got this and then I got a little purple tank top these are just like the dollar 90 tank tops that they always carry there in a bunch of different colors I love those for the summertime when it's really hot and I really liked this purple color I'm just trying to, like I said, branch out with like colors and stuff. And I was like, ooh, the silver iridescent with the purple. Like that's cute. It's cute with my hair, I like it. I like experimenting, so. And then I have my opal earrings on. I love wearing these on my days off. I don't like to wear them at work because I'm like too afraid to lose one. 
Girl, I am already getting sweaty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is hot out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have it head over. I'm gonna get some coffee and then I will get back with you guys. Hey guys, so I'm back. I picked up my stuff. I got $22, which was pretty good. Pretty good, you know. Um, and I did find some, well, found one thing. Um, I was looking at the shorts because the shorts are so cheap. They sell them for like $6, $8 and stuff like that. I just didn't really see anything that fit me nice. I tried some stuff on and just nothing fit me right. Like I'm so picky with my jeans. Like they need to have the right amount of stretch. And a lot of the jeans that they have there are like Forever 21. I see a lot of Forever 21 shorts. I don't like them because they just have no stretch or give and I need that um, for it to feel comfortable because um, I'm still that amount of chubby where a pair of pants or shorts can fit me nice when I'm standing up and it can be like great and perfect and all that but then when I sit down I have all this like chub you know those rolls and um, it needs to be comfortable when I sit down so sometimes when I sit down it feels like my stomach is being cut in half and I'm not cool with that comfort over everything over here so I did find a pair of shoes because I've been really needing some nice shoes to go out in and like I told y'all I don't like heels I don't like wearing heels I've tried wedges before I used to wear wedges but I just don't like them and then I'm afraid I'm gonna fall and I'm just not good at walking in heels but what I do like is sneaker wedges and booties because they have a little heel but for some reason I can walk in those easy because it feels like you know my entire foot is covered and it's like holding on and it's like my foot becomes the shoe if that makes any sense but all those heels with like the tiny straps and stuff I feel like I'm gonna slip out of and fall off of and trip over everything so I did find some boots even though it's summer and it's like really hot I don't care because like I'm that alternative chick and I like wearing black and I just like looking a certain way so I will totally wear these year-round I think they're so cute and I've seen these online like I go online window shopping all the time and these are always what I want to buy like um, so I got these boots right here so they have a little chunky heel and it's nothing crazy it's just a little bit just to kind of like dress up your outfit a little more um, and it's got that detailing on the back and the lace-up front which I love the way the lace-up front looks and zippers on both sides so I thought these were really cute you know you can wear them with skinny jeans or leggings maybe even shorts like high-waisted black shorts with like distress would be really cute but I really like these they're super comfortable I kept walking like I kept looking at these it was the first shoe that I tried on and they fit perfectly I got the size eight and a half um, I'm a different shoe size depending on the brand it's so weird but um, this is the brand bamboo and they make really good shoes I like bamboo shoes a lot and um, yeah these are the first shoes that I tried on and I love them and they were $14 and I was like oh I kind of wanted to spend $10 on shoes call me cheap whatever but I was like ah, oh, these fit so nicely and like these are the, the kind of like combat boot like a girly combat boot like badass but I'm still girly combat boot like I've been wanting these for so long I was like girl just get them like I tried on a bunch of other heels and shoes and boots and they just didn't fit right or they were not in my price range or I just didn't think they would match with a lot of stuff so I ended up getting these I think they're cute I love them so yeah um, hubby and I really want to go out tonight but our friends are in Vegas we don't have that many friends and the friends we do have are in Vegas and I'm sad I wish I was in Vegas but yeah so I don't know we may or may not go and just chill at a bar me and him or we might just stay in and drink I don't know I just want to do something fun and sometimes I just feel like going out yeah so I'm picking up the kids now and I guess we'll see what's good for later 
I was going to end this vlog because I feel like it's hella long, but I still have more stuff to show you guys. Excuse my face. I am doing a little mask. This is like a peel off mask. And I just woke up this morning and I had all these little tiny pimples coming through. And I was like, what the hell is going on with my face? But I will say that I cheated a lot this weekend. I ate a bunch of things. That I probably shouldn't have eaten, but I had fun with my husband, so whatever. And my kids are in the room if you hear noises. But anyways, this whole vlog is literally a bunch of mini, mini hauls. Um, so I just wanted to show you a couple more things that I got. Yes. So I went to Charlotte Russe, and they had a dollar... <laughs> they had a dollar they had a dollar 99 and up clothes rack and I was like what and I found this shirt it's just a little olive like sweater ribbed knit shirt and I only found it in a size medium but it's so stretchy if it's fine and this was originally $15 your girl got it for $1.99, which is so sweet. You know I love it. And I just love finding just diamonds in the rough. There was nothing wrong with this. It looks so good and it feels so soft. And I was like, you know what? If I don't wear this this summer, I will definitely wear it in the fall time. Um, and it's $1.99. And what I found is like really smart is when you know the other season clothes goes on sale like super low like i can afford a dollar 99 and that can be for the winter and the fall for sure um so i don't know get your clothes on the opposite seasons if you're trying to save money last year i actually went online on charlotte russe and it was in the in the winter time Last year, I found flip-flops for $0.99 cents each, original $8, and I wear those this summer, and they're, like, brand new still. So, there's a little tip if you need to save money, but you like getting clothes and you need new clothes and stuff, you know, buy the stuff on the opposite season because it's always on a super crazy sale. I also told you guys that I went to Forever 21. I showed you guys that purple tank top and then that I got this little silver headband. Well, I also got another tank top. I also got another tank top. I It's another one of those $1.90 tank tops. I just got a gray one because I just didn't have a gray one. And also because I had a bunch of these tank tops, like so many, but they were all in large and extra large and they're too loose on me now. And I really like when my tank tops are like fitted. So I got a medium. My kids are being crazy today. Anyways, and then the last thing I got from Forever 21 was this choker. It's like a little thin leather or pleather choker. I just wanted like a nice thin one like this. And it's got this little um, circle detail, this little metal thing in the middle, which I thought was like really cute and like gives a little something something, but it's also plain. It can match a lot of things. So that was $3.90. And then I got a couple of makeup things. I needed some new lashes. And I finally, like, I have a favorite, favorite, favorite lash. I really need to do a favorites video. Oh, my God. I need to do a favorites video for you guys. But this is my most favorite lash ever, okay? These are the Ardell Soft Touch Lashes. It's the number 162. And it's 100% natural hair. Um, like, it kind of freaks me out that it's, like, real hair, but <laughs> honestly, these things last so long. I can wear them, like, 20 times. I'm not kidding you. Uh, the band is just super strong and super long-lasting, and I just love the way that these make my eyes look, and it's such a full lash without being, like, too crazy. Like, you don't look like Jersey Shore, but you definitely look like you have, like, uh, lash extensions in or something. I just love the way that these look on my eyes and my Local grocery store HEB that I always tell you guys about I always get my makeup there because they always have coupons and they usually have a dollar off Ardell Every few months. So every time I get these ones, I literally only need one pair for so long Like I, they last so long. I love those lashes. These are a pair that I've been wearing I mean honestly for months 
and they still look good like yeah they have mascara on them and stuff but like they still look really really good um any like snapchat photos or instagram photos that you've seen lately with me uh, with lashes on are probably these ones right here and i've had these for months and i'm still gonna probably continue to wear them until they completely turn <laughs> um to be completely honest so I got one more makeup thing uh, because they had a coupon again at H-E-B. They had so many makeup coupons. I had to take advantage. Oh my God, it's hard to talk with this thing, like honestly. They had a $2 off a L'Oreal lip product. So I really wanted to get one of my favorite lipsticks by L'Oreal and it's in the Ferris Nude 800 because this one is like so empty. Like it can't go up anymore. I can't even use it, but I keep it there so I can remember what shade my favorite is um and they were out of it unfortunately but i found this one that's uh the j-lo inspired lipstick and it was pretty close in color so i decided to get that one here's what it looks like it's just one of those like pretty pretty nudes it's not the most opaque in the world like definitely that lipstick is better i have to say but this is what it looks like so it's just um it's not shimmery it looks shimmery but it's just like shiny like glossy a little bit but yeah it's not that opaque but hey like i'll still wear it you know it's it still looks good but i definitely prefer the ferris nude that is a good nude lipstick um yeah so i got those things and then i also got um, a couple things downstairs that I'll show you guys in a few minutes. I'm just gonna, I'm upstairs in my room and I gotta take this thing off and then I'll show you guys that in a few minutes. Hey, I wanted to show you guys the last things that I got. I need to fix my hair, I look crazy. And I'm in my closet because my son's asleep and I don't want to wake him up, so. I got this little set of earrings and this was $3 on sale. There's like a lot of them. Is there something? No, 16 pairs? Yeah. 16 pairs and I got that from Rue21 just because I really want to start wearing my third holes again. And then I also got a 10 day sample of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I got a coupon and um, it's to have a 10 day um, sample. So I'm going to try this foundation out because I've been interested in it. Yeah, so that concludes all my mini little hauls. <laughs> In this crazy vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also if you are not subscribed don't forget to subscribe. I have plenty of videos for you guys to check out about weight loss or beauty, makeup, whatever. And I will just catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!